I, I love golf. I do. I play it. I love the PGA Tour. I love the Masters. Love the Opens. Love all of that stuff. I don't have to love this crap. I really don't. CBS Sports Network host and NFL veteran Boomer Esiason is out of Fs to give. The former president's hosting this garbage over there. And these guys are accepting this money. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an insult to all the people that died on 9-11 and how their families were affected. But it's also an insult to all the people that have died since 9-11 because of all the toxic carcinogens that they basically ingested while they were trying to clean this place up to make it look like what it looks like now. Asiasin is straight up telling it like it is. He and I have disagreed on some things in the past, but this dude is spot freaking on here. And we live right in the shadow of it. And when you go down there, you're affected by it, especially if you were personally affected by it. And that's why this is, there's so much outrage around this. Then he mentions a book by Matthew Bocci called Sway. He then said the following. You understand from a first person account how somebody's life can completely be can totally screwed up because of what happened and how many other lives have been just as screwed up over the last 22 years after the fact. And these guys are over there, you know, playing music, making hundreds of millions of dollars from the Saudi Arabian government. That's what we're doing? That's what we're doing. And that's what they're going to continue to do. Oh, they can kiss my ass. I'm not watching and I don't care. This is the strongest statement I have seen from someone on air aside from this network. And here's the thing. Asiasin didn't just go after Liv, who was putting on this Fugazi facade of a tournament just so they could cleanse their reputation, mainly with conservatives, and be in their good graces, with, of course, an insurrectionist blessing. It wasn't just that. Esiason took aim at his employer as well, WFAN, because they, too, took the money from Live Golf. Esiason's co-host, Greg Giannotti, said, I couldn't help but notice the Live Golf spot that was played in our last break. It's just awkward to ignore it. So I had to mention it because if we're talking about all these golfers taking the money and we're talking about the PGA Tour sponsors taking the money, then we have to at least be fair and mention how, I guess, we, W fan, took the money as well. As I said, would respond. So we took the blood money. Adding of Odyssey and W fan as both hosts noted, they were unaware that Live Golf promos were now part of W fan's ad catalog. Trump Bedminster took the blood money. Trump Doral took the blood money too. At the time, Esiason would say, I think the 9-11 families, if Dustin Johnson's making $125 million and Bryson DeChambeau's bragging that he's been making more money than what's been reported and Phil Mickelson making $200 million and we have the Saudi government that had their hand involved in 9-11 and you have all these families that have been suing the Saudi government and got nothing, you tell me what you think. Asiasin said. I think what Boomer Asiasin is doing here is awesome. I think what he's saying and calling it out is important and we need more of it. I also personally feel like if you really want to know why the former insurrectionist president, the 45th president of the United States, is in bed with the Saudis, you don't have to look too far. There are many reasons why. We have gone over them on this network. We've gone over them on this channel. It's because they helped him get out of debt. Because he's a bad businessman. So this is what he does. He offloads hotels. He offloads floors of his hotels. He offloads property. He offloads a mega yacht. He will offload anything to... Let me frame this carefully. If you read Sarah Kenzier's book, Hiding in Plain Sight, you'll know why. And you'll know who. This is what he does. This is what he has done. Why? Because his properties are bad. He's bleeding money. So what does he do? He takes the blood money. Because all that matters to this guy is money. He will sell out his kids. He will sell out his wife. He will sell out the American public for money. And guess what? It matters where it comes from.